now we move, we move on to the next example and we'll see how to solve this example now in this case uh, in the next example uh, in the first example as we have seen we have taken two dice now uh, sorry two coins now we'll take two dice so uh, in this case two dice are thrown simultaneously so two dice are thrown simultaneously and accordingly we have to find out find the probability accordingly we have to find out the probability of different cases that is find the probability of getting first even number as the sum so uh, in the first uh, in the fir first question we have to find out the probability of getting even number as the sum when two dice are thrown simultaneously so uh, how to how to solve this question is first thing is uh, we have to first look out the sample space so if we first look out the sample space where two dice are thrown simultaneously we can see that uh, uh, we can see the number of elements we get in the sample space so let's say let's start with the one that is uh, we are getting one on both the dice so it means the first element will be one one now second element will be one two it means the we are getting one on the first dice and two on the second dice in the same way one three will be the third element that is sometimes we can get one on the first dice and three on the second dice so in this way there are six elements in which the first in the first dice we are getting one and the second dice we are getting uh, getting number from one to six so there are six uh, such possible cases with uh, one on the first dice now if we we'll take two on the first dice so again there are six possible cases that is that is two one two 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 three in the same way up to two six so again there are six possible cases when two will be taken on the first dice so uh, now if we take three on the first dice again again there are uh, six possible cases that is if we take three on the first dice uh, it means that uh, one will appear on uh, on the uh, number from one to six will be appear on the second dice so either one or two or three uh, so up to six any number can appear on the second dice so again there are six possible cases when three will appear on the first dice now in the same way if we take four on the first dice again there are six possible cases for the second dice that is number from 1 to 6 if you take 5 on the first dice again there are 6 possible cases and if you take 6 on the first dice and again there are 6 possible cases so in this way there are total number of 36 possible cases or 36 possible outcomes that you can get when you toss or when you throw two dice simultaneously so it means the sample space has sample space has 36 elements or 36 possible outcomes now in the first co uh, question it is asked that we have to find out the probability of getting even number as the sum so if you uh, analyze this question even number when 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 we get the even number even number can be get only when both the number are odd or both the number are even that means if we add even plus even then only we can get even number or if we add odd plus odd number then only we can get even number because if we add odd plus even we will can, we cannot get the even number so even number can be uh, find out when both the number are either both the number are even or both the number are odd so now we'll see the uh, favorable outcomes what will be our favorable outcomes on the basis of this so favorable outcome will be 1 1 because both are odd number and summation of both these numbers is even so uh, this is possible so this is a favorable outcome 1 2 we cannot consider because it is odd plus even 1 3 we can consider again both the numbers are odd in the same way 1 5 we can consider again both the numbers are odd so this cases we have taken when there is 1 on the first dice now if we take 2 on the first dice we cannot take 1 with 2 because the sum of both these numbers will be odd so we will take 2 2 that is both number will be even as uh, 2 is even so we can take even number only with the even number so as in the as we have taken 2 2 so both are even again we will take 2 4 and 2 6 
so uh, in this case both numbers are even now if you take 3 on the first dice so 3 is odd number so it means we have to take only the odd numbers with 3 that is 3 1 3 3 and 3 5 in the same way if you take 4 we, we only have to take the even number with 4 because 4 is an even number so 4 2 we can take 4 4 we can take and in the same way 4 6 we can take now if, if we take 5 so 5 is odd number so we only have to take the odd number with 5 so it will be 5 1 5 3 and 5 5 and in the same way if we take 6 with on the first dice we have to take only the even number with 6 so it will be 6 2 6 4 6 6 so in all these cases we will get some as the even number so uh, now we will count, count the number total number of favorable outcomes so favorable outcomes will be if we count all these things the, the, the total number of favorable outcomes will be will be 18 so if you count all these outcomes we will get the 18 as a total number of favorable outcomes so probability of getting an even number as the sum will be equal to total number of favorable outcomes that is 18 divided by the total number of possible outcomes that is 36 so probability of getting an even number as the sum will be equal to 1 by 2 so in this way we uh, we have to solve the problems on the probability now we move on to the uh, second part of this question so in the second part in the in the second part it is given it is asked that you have to find out the probability of sum probability of sum as prime number so we have to find out the probability of getting sum as a prime number so now we we'll again consider all the possible outcomes and according on the basis of this possible outcomes we will see we will we'll find out the favorable outcomes favorable outcomes means uh, we will have to find out the sum as the prime number of the two numbers that will appear on both the dice. So if we take 1 1 so sum of 1 1 will be 2 and 2 is a prime number so it means we can take the uh, take this case or take this element in our favorable outcomes. So next if we take uh, uh, again of 1 on the first dice we cannot so uh, next number will, with 1 will be 2. So if you take 1 2 some of these will be 3 so 3 is a prime number. So if we take 1 3 we cannot take 1 3 because uh, the summation of 1 plus 3 is 4 and 4 is not a prime number. Now, uh, now 1 4 if we can take uh, yes we can take 1 4 because summation of both this is a prime number again 1 5 we can we cannot take and uh, 1 6 yes 1 6 we can take because summation of this will be 7 so there are four uh, possible outcomes when one will be taken on the first dice now if we take two on the first dice so with two we can take one because summation is three with two we cannot take two we can take three because summation is five with two we cannot take uh, four uh, because submission is 6 we cannot we take we can take 5 because submission is 7 7 is a prime number 2 6 we cannot take because again it is a it is not a prime number now now when we take 3 on the first dice we cannot take the 1 with 3 because submission is 4 we can we can take 2 with 3 because submission is 5 5 is a prime number we cannot take 3 with 3 we can we, we can take 3 with 4 because submission is 7 Oh, and again uh, we cannot take uh, 3 with 5 and 6 because submission is not a prime number with 5 and 6. Now we will take uh, 4 on the first dice and we will see which number we can get in this on the second dice. So that, so that the sum will be a prime number. 4, 1 we can take. 4, 2 cannot we can take. 4, 3 we can take. 4, 4, 4, 5 and 4, 6 we cannot take. 5, if we take 5 on the first dice. 5 1 we cannot take, 5 2 we can take, 5, uh, 5 3 cannot take, we can we cannot take, 5 4 we cannot take, 5 5, 5 6, uh, yes 5 6 we can get because the submission of 5 and 6 is 11, so uh, and 11 is a prime number, so we can take 5 6. Now with 6, on the first dice we, we can take 6 1 because submission is 7, we cannot take 6 2, 6 3 cannot take, 6 4, 6 5 we can take. So these are all the favorable outcomes that we got in which we are getting sum as a prime number. If you, if you add all this all favorable outcomes, the total number of favorable outcomes will be total favorable 
outcomes will be 15. So these are the all total number of favorable outcomes that we are getting in which we are getting sum as a prime number. So probability of getting sum as prime number will be equal to favorable outcomes that is 15 divided by the possible outcomes that is 36. So if we divide it, so now if we simplify it or uh, take it to the simplest form, we will get 15, 3, 12, so we will get 5 by 12. So this is the probability of getting sum as a prime number. So in this way we have actually analyzed the question properly accordingly and uh, then we have to find we find out the favorable outcomes and on the basis of the favorable outcome we can get we, we get got the probability of sum as a prime number. Now we move on to the next part of this question. Now we have to find out the total that is sum of both the number total of at least 10 that is the sum of both the number should at least be 10. It means it can be 10 or greater than 10 but it cannot be less than 10. So accordingly we will now consider the favorable outcomes. So if we see the favorable outcomes in this case in which we are get, we'll get at least the sum as 10. So accordingly the favorable outcomes will be uh, we cannot uh, if you take one on the first dice we cannot take any uh, any other number with uh, one or the second dice because the maximum number we can we can take with one is 6 and summation of 1 plus 6 is 7 not and 7 is less than 10. So and we have to take only those cases in which we are getting sum as 10 or more than 10. So uh, again with, if we take 2 we cannot uh, take uh, 2 on the first 2 on uh, any of the dice because with 2 we can get the maximum number as 6. And summation of 2 and 6 is 8 which is again less than 10. With 3 also the summation of 3 and 6 is 9 which is less than 10. So it means we have to start with 4 only. 4 only means on the first dice we can take 4 and with 4 we can take uh, four, uh, 6 on, only because summation is 10 and, and less than 6 number we cannot take because then the summation will be less than 10. Now if we take 5 on the first dice so we will take uh, 5 5 as the one of the cases and 5 6 because summation is more than 10 or 10. Again if we take 6 on the first dice we will take 6 4 6 5 and 6 6 as our favorable outcomes. So these are the 6 favorable outcomes that we got and accordingly the probability will be probability of at least 10 as sum is equal to 6 favorable outcomes so 6 divided by total possible outcome that is 36. So the probability of getting at least sum as 10 will be equal to 1 by 6. So in this way uh, we, we have to solve the problems on probability and now we will see uh, one more uh, example based on this two, uh, two dice which, which are thrown simultaneously. Uh, let's say we are, we'll see how to find out the probability of getting multiple of two on one dice, multiple of two on one dice and multiple of three on other dice. So in this case now we have to find out the uh, probability in which we will get multiple of 2 on the first dice and the multiple of 3 on the other dice. So again on the basis of this we have to first consider the favorable outcomes. So now if you see the favorable outcomes the multiple of 2 will be if you see the multiple of 2 multiple of 2 will be 2, 4 and 6. So it means we will only have to take 2, 4 and 6 on the first dice and the same way multiple of 3 is 3 and 6. It means that we have to take 2. 3 and, uh, and 6 on the second dice only. We cannot take any other number apart from 3 and 6 on the second dice. So now if you take a multiple of 2 on the first dice and multiple of 3 so possible outcomes uh, will be uh, first 2, 3 then 2, 6. It means we are get, we'll take a multiple of 2 on the first and the multiple of 3 on the second. Now again 4, 3 and 4, 6. These are again two possible outcomes and again if we take uh, the multiple of 2 that is 6 on the first dice with 6 we will take 6, 3 and 6, 6. So these are the possible outcomes that we got 
that is the multiple of 2 on the one dice and the multiple of 3 on the second dice. So these are the possible outcomes that we got or these are the favorable outcomes that we got. So it means that the probability of getting multiple of 2 on the first dice, multiple of 2 on the first dice and the multiple of 3 on the other dice uh, has, these, uh, has these favorable outcomes that is 2, 3, 2, 6, 4, 3, 4, 6, 6, 3, 6, 6. So these are the favorable outcomes. So probability of this will be probability of this will be favorable outcome that is 6 divided by 36 that is will be equal to 1 by 6. So this is the probability of getting multiple of 2 on one dice on the first dice and the multiple of 3 on the second dice. But this example can be uh, understood in the other way also like in the question in this question it is asked that we have to find take the multiple of 2 on the first dice and the multiple of 3 on the second dice. But if you said in the question it is uh, given like if you take multiple of 2 on the one dice and the multiple of 3 on the other dice it means we can do the vice versa of the favorable outcomes that is favorable outcomes uh, in, in that case will be changed because if you take multiple of 2 on the first uh, and the multiple of 3 on the second then you will get this 6 possible outcomes that we got above that is 2, 3, 2, 6, 4, 3, 4, 6, 6, 3 and 6, 6 but if you take the multiple of 2 on the second dice and the multiple of 3 on the first dice then on the basis of this your favorable outcomes will number of favorable outcomes will increase because if you now in the in this first case you take the you took the multiple of 2 on the first and the multiple of 3 on the second now we have to take those cases also in which we are getting multiple of 3 on the first and the multiple of 2 on the second if you take multiple of 3 on the first then multiple uh, then again we have to take the multiple of 2 on the second so it will be 3 2 3 4 3 6 these are the possible outcomes in which we get multiple of 3 on the first and the multiple of 2 on the second and if you take multiple of uh, again uh, this uh, again the next multiple of 3 will be 6 so we can take 6 on the first dice also and with 6 the possible outcomes will, will be 6 3 so possible outcome possible outcomes will be 6 2 because we are taking the multiple of uh, 3 on the first and the multiple of 2 on the second so possible outcomes will be 6 2 and 6 4 6 6 we cannot take because we have already taken 6 6 so if we take 6 6 it will again be the same case because there are no uh, in the all possible outcomes you, you cannot get 6 6 2 times you only get 6 6 1 time so these are the favorable outcomes when you can take uh, multiple of 2 on the 1 and 1, di one of the dice and multiple of 3 on the second dice so in this case the probability will change and in this case the probability will be total number of favorable outcomes. Now the favorable outcomes are increased and it is actually equal to 11 divided by the possible outcome that is 36. And in this case now the probability of this thing will uh, this thing that is the multiple of 2 on 1 and the multiple of 3 on the other will be equal to 11 by 36.